so I'm really interested in ways that people who do activities in classrooms can create games. Um, Unity is a great little um, little uh, game engine and I guess kind of IDE that people can use to create games. It, it's it really does put the um, some really powerful tools into into your hands, but it can be quite complicated, uh, especially since there's a lot of things. You know, game developers have a lot of skills or have a team full of people with lots of skills so it can still be overwhelming uh, and a bit difficult for people who aren't game developers um, so I found this new-ish tool called Fungus which is um, kind of like a layer above Unity so it's, well it's a package for Unity that adds this layer that as, as you can see it says free and no coding and helps you create these kind of um, adventure games with a little bit of text and decision trees and it's all good so I was just going to go through the process of setting up Unity for people who have kind of no experience so the first step um, to set up Unity with Fungus uh, is to create no, it's to download Unity sorry so um, unityfreed.com it's the URL there we go uh, and you want to just click get Unity 5. Um, 5 is the latest version um, as I'm recording this. Some developers are still using 4 uh, because they've got assets or whatever that are working for and not 5, they've not moved over. But you're best off staying with um, with 5. Uh, now there is an education version um, but for me I'm just going to download the personal edition that's for indies and studios. It'll work fine. So, and it's free. That's the good thing. So, um, this personal edition down here, you want to click free download and download the installer. So, the installer is a very small download. It'll do, it should do that really quick. Uh, yep. And then you just want to run the downloader, uh, the installer. So, I won't run it because I've run it before. But it's very straightforward. Once you've opened this, it will just go and grab more files and then install Unity 5 onto your system. So once Unity's installed, you probably already want to install Fungus as well. So on, from the fungusgames.com website, you want to click download and you want to download Fungus. Uh, and so you get a thing called the Unity. Unity package, so Fungus version 2, beta 9, dot Unity package. And so, what I will do is save this for now uh, rather than open it. And so, while that's downloading uh, with my terrible speed, uh, I will open Unity, show you how to set up a simple project. Um, if you've downloaded this on a Mac, it'll appear in your applications folder uh, if you've downloaded it on Windows it'll have installed it to kind of the wherever it installs programs you think you can pick can't you um, Windows 7 it'll probably be in your start menu it'll be easy enough to find uh, and then when you once you've opened it you you were given a screen that looks like this now I've created a bunch of projects before and they have all got ridiculous names like new project 1 new project 2 new project this is a bad naming convention for projects but I was just trying stuff out so that's my excuse so what you want to do once you've opened you got to this kind of splash screen is click new project uh, give your project a name fungus example I'll call it uh, and then a location on your computer where it will be stored so I'll just start in documents uh, now I'm going to pick 2d uh, I think this matters <laughs> uh, because fungus is a 2D. The difference between 3D and 2D is you kind of it imports different packages. I think they're called, so you can do different types of games. Uh, 2D games, uh, it'll set up kind of the view and the camera and stuff like that on a project to suit 2D games, which are a bit less complicated than than 3D games. So I have clicked 2D. It's got a name. It's got a location. And then I click create project. It says hold on. 
and then it loads uh, Unity. So this is what Unity looks like. Um, it is really overwhelming at first, especially if you're not a game developer. But with plugins like Fungus, you I mean, I don't really use Unity in Anger, but with Fungus, um, it really helps you learn the way around the IDE, or whatever you want to call it, around the environment. So, before we do anything, at this point, it's a good idea to import that Fungus package into your... Um, into your game so what this at the moment has an empty untitled project uh, and we want to import what we just downloaded from the fungus website into that project uh, now this hasn't fully downloaded yet <laughs> so I might just stop the camera and wait until it's downloaded yeah it's not downloaded yet and I've not got an old, I didn't download it previously, so I'll just stop the camera and carry on in a second. So here we are. I have downloaded the Unity package, uh, and I am, I have my Unity project open. So if I double click this, it'll start decompressing the package and it will place that into any projects I have open, well, into this project I have open. Uh, the other way you could do it would be to go to File, Import Package, and then navigate to the package. So this might take a while. And what happens once it's decompressed the package is you get a list of all the assets that were in that package. Um, so these are all the things that we downloaded and they were bundled up in a .unity package. Uh, I'm just going to import them all. So they're all ticked. So I go to import. My machine just takes a little while to think about these things. Not too long. It's not a very powerful machine. Um, and you know you can still do things quite fast. Uh, I guess with unity you can make games kind of all ends of the spectrum quite kind of graphical intense ones and fun little adventure games that aren't quite so intense which is kind of cool so this is still importing so it's finally finished importing <laughs> and now we have an extra item on the top bar which is this fungus item so we'll use that in a second to start to create the adventure um, actually well, why not start now the first thing you need to create like a little adventure is a workflow so if you go to create workflow it creates a new asset a new instance in the hierarchy uh, so we've got two things there now, we've got a camera and the flowchart. Uh, so now you want to edit the things that are in this flowchart. To do that, we do it in, like a, in a little window with a flowchart window, which isn't actually visible now because um, it's not usually part of, um, of Unity. So if you click flowchart, click flowchart window, it'll appear and you can snap that somewhere wherever you want um, into your IDE so I'll uh, actually I'll just put it back down here for now nice and big I can still flick to these other ones you probably want to spend some time working out the layout that works for you and so the game, the flowchart works on things called blocks, and you can just add them by clicking this little plus in the window. So we're going to make a very simple game that says, hello, pick an option, and goodbye. So the game starts with a block that was already in the flowchart, uh, and 
it starts on this block because this option up here, game started, is set to game started. So we'll leave that as it is. Uh, and you can add things to happen in blocks. So down here, we'll click add. Uh, and then we'll just keep it really simple for now. We'll just have a narrative. So say, say, welcome to my game. And then you can add a flow. Uh, or you can add a flow, or you can just add. Um, yeah, flow to the next block. So it calls a flow that's called call to new the new block one and you can give these new names if you want so actually let's do that so the first block let's call it starting block second block decision block let's call it debt block uh, and then good and then let's create one more which is bad and so you make a decision if it's a good decision you go to the good block and if it's bad decision you go to the, the bad block no that's wrong bad block so in this flow chart the game starts it goes to a block that whether someone has to make a decision and then it'll either be a good decision or a bad decision so let's add on here. Uh, we're looking for a menu. So in this narrative, we can add a menu item. Uh, actually, before we add that menu item, let's add a narrative which is say, and we can say down here, you can add things to the block. So in the text, are you going to make uh, uh, going to make the right choice uh, and then we have to put that at the top because you can order the events in which things happen in a block so first it'll say are you going to make the right choice then the menu will say yes I am good or we can add another menu item so plus narrative menu that says no I am bad and then we can change the target block so no I am bad goes to the bad block yes I'm good goes to the good block and then you can just add what you want to these so you can add uh, I think that says well done to the good block and I think that says how about another narrative that says you suck to the bad block uh, and so we've not added you can add sprites you might have noticed uh, all kinds of things, sprites, things you can add these things called views that let you add background and all that kind of stuff, audio animation, and variables. We've not done any of that. We've just set up the story for now. And if I click play, it should start at this block up here. So up here, this is the game window. It shows you what players would see. Uh, it says, "Welcome to my game." Press the button. Are you going to make the right choice? And then it gives me the decision, the, the two menu items. Yes, I'm good. No, I am bad. Yes, I'm good. Takes you here to good. So now you could add a completely different tree here for good guys or a bad tree for bad guys. Um, this decision block up here could have a question, say, um, you know, a biology question or an RS question or whatever. Uh, and then you could simply 
if they get the right answer, increase the vari a variable of like a variable called score up a point, um, and then go to the same block that the the wrong the the wrong answer would go to. Uh, but perhaps if they get the wrong answer, they don't get the score inc increased. If you do all those kinds of things, um, you'd add characters here. You can move characters about. Uh, the one thing, I mean, I'm going to go and explore now and see what I can do, but the one thing to always remember uh, is that when you're playing and you're changing and editing stuff, always make sure you don't have play clicks, because uh, that will undo your changes when you unclick it. Uh, so, yeah, it looks fun.